Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about six versions of 10 gigabit Ethernet and their features. 10 gigabit Ethernet defines full duplex point-to-point -point links, which are generally connected by network switches. Hubs and their half duplex access method CSMACD do not exist on 10 gigabit Ethernet networks. Let's use a table to list six versions of 10 gigabit Ethernet and some of their features, such as fiber type used, physical layer signaling, and maximum signal length. First, Let's list six versions in column one. All of these six versions have 10 G base in their names because they are all baseband systems with the speed up to 10 gigabits per second. They are different only with last two capital letters, SR, SW, LR, LW, ER, and EW. Let's decode the first letter of these two uppercase letters. S stands for short wave length, which means multimode fiber or MMF is used. L stands for long wave length, which indicates single mode fiber or SMF is used. E stands for actual long wave length which also indicate single-mode fiber or SMF is used. And we are done with the second column, fiber type. Now let's decode the second letter, R and W. R stands for range, which means local area network or LAN. Therefore, we have three places for LAN. W stands for Wide Area Network, or WAN, and specifically SONIT, a WAN technology. We have three places for WAN or SONIT. We are done with the third column. The last column is about maximum signal length. With the SR and SW, the maximum length is up to 300 meters. With LR and LW, the length is up to 10 kilometers, and with the last two versions, ER and EW, is up to 40 kilometers. I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn network systematically, please check out my playlists. They are organized by topics. Thank you very much, and see you next time.